<laughs> ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? She does a great Real job. On. Real fine. Loretta, come here. Loretta, when she first moved to Nashville, told Teddy and I how when she was a little girl, she used to get up in front of the radio when the Grand Ole Opry would come on and, and, and dance. <laughs> And, she still uh, dances. There's a lot of uh, things that the folks that see our show each week don't uh, know, and I thought maybe we might pass on some information to them all this week that will be interesting to them. You, you come to the Grand Ole Opry for what one sole purpose? Well, Doyle, I really came to the Grand Ole Opry as a fiddler, but uh, truthfully, the speckled bird that I sang on my first show uh, got me my job regular. I did an awful poor job of fiddling. I was scared to death, and I played back of the bridge about as much as I played in front of it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Buddy Spiker could tell you they don't sound too good back of the bridge. Well, we've always had the square dancers on the Grand Ole Opry, and those of you that have visited our Grand Ole Opry here in Nashville realize that we have square dancers every Saturday night. Oh, we yes. have a square dance team there. And primarily, that's what Roy was hired for uh, when he first moved to Nashville or come to Nashville. And only as a guest uh, spot. You had to do the fiddle music for the square yeah. dancers, right? Yeah, I, uh, I came and took an audition on a Saturday night. Arthur Smith was uh, away for some purpose. And uh, they gave me an opportunity to do the first 15 minutes of the Grand Ole Opry. And uh, I just did that as an audition. And I went back to Knoxville. And uh, they sent me a mail to me, and it came in bushel baskets full. And in about two weeks, David Stone called me and uh, sent me a telegram and uh, asked me if I would come back and take a regular job, that I had drawn so much mail that they felt that uh, I could make it good on the Opry. And I was the only one, the first one, that ever drew any mail That's from the funny. Opry. That's one. And uh, it, the mail kept coming, the, the just barrels of it, but it was for the song, The Great Speckled Bird, not for Turkey Buzzard. Loretta, <laughs> Loretta, do you realize that you might have been doing your little Kentucky dance uh, by the music of Roy Acuff? Did That's you right. realize that back then? Sure. Huh? Uh, the song that I really, that I started remembering mostly was the, the Precious Jewel. That's Precious the one Jewel. I think it was one of the greatest. Loretta, I wrote that uh, riding along in an automobile. It took me about 30 minutes. Rachel was with me at the time, and uh, she, uh, she would write it down as I would give it to her. I guess I wrote it, in, uh, Rachel and Oswald and all, in about 30 minutes of, in the car. What was the first tune you fiddled on the Grand Ole Opry? Well, I can't tell you exactly, but I, I, it was either Turkey Buzzard or Cacklin' Hen <laughs> or some of that type of numbers. Well, but, I want, where's your fiddle? I let me yo-yo, doll. I no, I want you to. Let him I want I, you. I'm, I'm, I'm more used to, to yo-yoing yeah, now. Yo-yo. <laughs> I want you. I, yeah, not, I, I want you to play the fiddle for all the Roy Acuff fans that, that don't get to see you every Saturday night on the Grand Ole Opry now. And I, no, I want you to play. I, I want you to play. Well, hold my yo-yo. Let me I get got, my fiddle. I'll hold your yo-yo. And I want uh, you to play. Uh, I, I, I must tell this story now, Doyle, right. because I, I want the folks to know that I cannot fiddle anymore. Uh, I, well, say, I, after I'd been on the network show for seven years, I had to hire fiddlers, and I'd done everything. I couldn't fiddle and read continuity and, and sing songs, and my voice, my money was in my voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, uh, I just forgot to fiddle, and I forgot it for 25 years. That's right. So about two years ago, I told my boys, I said, I'm awful lonesome at night. I see television, but not all of it is interesting to me. So I told the boys, I said, I've got to learn my fiddle again. I've lost something in my life. And I went to work, back to work to learn the fiddle. And I have learned a little bit. And at home at night, I, I'll fiddle uh, 30 minutes or an hour each night. And then uh, I go down and fiddle with the boys down in the dressing room. But I, two years ago, or about two years ago when I first started, I decided I'd play one on the Opry. Mm -hmm. And I hit a few notes on the opera, and the crowd commenced to cheering like that and scared me nearly to death. <laughs> I, never, I was as nervous, honestly, I was as nervous as I was the first time that I tried to fiddle. And uh, then since then, though, I've, I've accomplished it back a little bit. Well, now, what, what are we going to play? And I want you to be aware because... If you hear anything knocking, it ain't my this, teeth. If you, <laughs> if this thing right here. Buddy Spiker will steal every hot lick you got on that fiddle, so you better watch hey, him buddy. close. <laughs> what are you going to play? Come I'm on. I'm going to play turkey buzzer. That's here. All right.